Hello and welcome to highlights of the 2010 AutoGP Formula Sim Racing World Championship. Round 4 of the championship took place in China around the Shanghai International Circuit. This is one of the newest F1 tracks featuring a very unique snail corner and an extremely long back straight. In another very tight qualifying session, Domagoj Malazic took pole position, but only by one hundredth of a second from Jarko Makonen. Bruno Marquez and Ronnie Hanel qualified for the second row, and Pono Hui set the fifth fastest time. Karol Poniatowski put in a surprise result to start the race in sixth position. To the race start, and with the exception of Pumalainen who struggled with his launch control, all the drivers got off the line cleanly. Despite some superficial contact throughout the field, it was a relatively clean affair through the first corner complex, with all the drivers finding their way through. As the cars emerged out of turn four, Hanel moved up into third, and when Marquette broke a touch too late into the hairpin, he tapped the back of Hanel and lost his front wing. There was also contact between Kears Marcus and Disley, causing Kears Marcus to spin and costing Rickard Helston his front wing. There was plenty of drafting throughout the field down the long back straight, with Poniatowski defending his position from Greco and Huis. Huis initially managed to move up into third, but he was squeezed out on the next turn, costing him four places. Meanwhile, Hanel pitted after apparently suffering damage from Marquetha's contact, and the problems continued for precision when Huis missed his braking point on the following lap and lost his front wing. As the midfield drivers sorted themselves out, Malazic and Makonen had run away with the top two places, ahead of David Greco in third. Rasmus Tali moved up into fourth after cruising past Poniatowski, who dropped further back into seventh after missing his braking point. Both DeWitt and Canapino were now in a good position, placed fifth and sixth respectively. Just six laps into the race, first place Malazic was forced to retire with an electrical problem, giving Jarko Makonen the lead. Rasmus Tali had now worked his way up through the field into second, while David Greco lost out first to DeWitt, and then Canapino when the Argentinian pounced on a mistake. Running strong in third place, Patrick DeWitt was coming under increasing pressure from Poniatowski. When the SP Motorsports driver outbraked DeWitt, he ran out of road and lost control over the curb. Despite making a very quick recovery, DeWitt lost two more positions, dropping down into sixth place. After the second set of stops, there was little change. Greco had leapfrogged Disley for fifth, and Canapino's one-stop strategy had him in third place, but only on very worn tyres. Further behind, Hanel and Huis had been driving impeccably after their disastrous starts to move inside the top ten. Continuing his charge through the field, Hanel made light work of Disley and DeWitt, but came unstuck when he tried to drive through turn 16 with Canapino. Hanel was unfortunately squeezed between the two faster-than-speed racing cars and lost his front wing and any hope of a points finish. With only four laps to go, Huis was now on the rear wing of Canapino too, and while the pair swapped places, Canapino's highly aggressive defence had the Precision Motorsports team fuming. Refusing to give up the fight, Canapino tried to pass Huis back on turn one, but the two made contact and Huis was sent careering off the track and into the barrier. So after a difficult start to the season, Jarko Makonen crossed the finish line to take his first victory of the 2010 season. Rasmus Tali drove a lonely race and backed up his victory at Malaysia with second place here at Shanghai. Karol Poniatowski drove an impressive race and achieved his first ever world championship podium. David Greco continued his consistency and finished in fourth, and Patrick DeWitt put in his best result of the year so far to finish in fifth. Blair Disley gained 10 places from his starting position to finish in 6th. Rasmus Tali has now taken the lead in the Drivers' Championship, with Malazic holding on to 2nd place. Despite a poor result for Marquette, he has overtaken Huis for 3rd. Greco remains in 5th, while McConan's win has launched the Finn into 6th place. Twister now have only a 1 point lead over Precision in the Constructors' standings, while Leon Covello have firmly established themselves into 3rd place. Go Speed remain in 4th, and SB Motorsports have now moved up into 5th. The next race will be the Spanish Grand Prix. You can tune in at 5.25pm GMT on the 25th of April for the Multi-BC broadcast. To watch the action live, go to www.formula-simracing.net and follow the links to the live broadcast. 
We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I'm Simon Adebisi, and we'll see you at Barcelona for round five of the AutoGP FSR World Championship.